It is so pretty over here. I'm in like a garden area, a little courtyard, it has a couple of benches, a couple of memorial plaques. I mean plaques, you know, honoring the CEO of the mall, I think, and a couple of other things, <laughs> other people. Beautiful trees, I love full grown mature trees. Anyway, y'all, hi, this is Alana, and I am at the North Park Mall in a little courtyard. I am carrying this beauty here. My famous, my Basquiat famous um, Rogue 25. Gorgeous. It doesn't come with this clochette, but it happens, the clochette happens to match it. Almost. Look at that. This, this is a Bordeaux. The interior right here is Bordeaux. The interior of the clochette is Bordeaux, but the interior of this bag is more of an oxblood color got my mask back there. Ooh, look at all that makeup. <laughs> it looks so dirty, but that's the makeup. I keep my hang tag right here inside when I carry the bag, when I display the bag in my closet. I just leave the hang tag out like this. However, these hang tags can come off because they're so heavy. They've got this nice metal piece here. So what I do is instead of taking the hang tag off, by the way, here's the bag. Jean-Michel Basquiat. Instead of taking it all the way off when I carry the bag, I just put that bad boy right in there. Here's the interior of the bag, card slot there, a little pocket here, and then the interior is in there. Oh, hey, this is a fun, yeah, I got a pair of socks there because I might try on some shoes later, and I'm wearing um, flats without socks right now. I carry, this is a nice, oh, it stinks. Who's smoking weed over here? Oh no. <laughs> So those of you who um, imbibe, no offense, I just, I can't stand the smell. And again, I can't still stand the smell of coffee and many other things that people love. So don't, don't, uh, don't judge me. Don't think I'm judging you for enjoying your, uh, whatever you like to enjoy. What the heck did I just do? Anyway, this is a, this is a nylon organizer and I keep all of my stuff in here. Nothing touches the bag's interior because you know this bag's interior is quite, quite um, light. There is a snap pocket, slip pocket that snaps on that wall with the story patch or creed and on this wall there's nothing there. So yeah, this is the bag that I am carrying. It's stunning. Here's the back. This is the first time I'm carrying this one. I love the brass hardware against the black. I'm at I'm at Coach, and here is Phil Totes, new colors. I think Petunia, Papaya, Blue Fin. I don't know what that brown is. Super cute. Hope y'all have been doing well. There is the new Hero Cross Body, I believe. Some of the men's bags. I don't know what all of these are called, but they're cute. All right, y'all, let's head in. Here's the new bag, the Hero shoulder bag and the Hero crossbody. New t-shirts, horse and carriage. This one is super classy looking. That's like some kind of, what kind of material is this? like the Riley's actually a lot of the silhouettes it's pretty similar but this material what kind of material is it escapes me I cannot remember what kind of material that is I would think this is super cool the hardware that holds the handles very cool very cool looking I think we've seen the the size feel told but we haven't seen these colors I don't believe very nice this one is so pretty. Top handle, I believe this is Petunia. 550. This is Papaya. This is the crossbody, no top handle. And this is 395, I believe. They're over here also. I 
pillow totes are still super popular. Here's what I'm carrying. Basquiat Famous Rogue in black. Closhet doesn't go with it. I grabbed this from my little black made to order Rogue. It fits perfectly. But here is the Hero. I like the top handle. I wonder how that would feel on though. Sometimes top handles get in the way when, when I lift the uh, the flap. They get in the way when they're when I'm wearing them. Okay, let's take a look at the interior. This again, I believe, is the Petunia leather interior. There's one, two, three sections, and one divider and the other divider oh, there's a plain divider and the second divider closer to the back is zippered there's a slip pocket that has a snap closure back there this is that jacquard canvas uh, jacquard material oh here is a clasp which is really nice i love this this is what the the beat bags same clasp as the beat bags i love it it's just a simple snap when it's closed, it's closed. Here's the back. The back has a pocket. Here is the tag. The pocket is not that big. I don't think my phone would fit in there. It's not that big. Here is the price tag. $5.50. Canadian is $6.95. Good Lord, that's a lot more. Very pretty. It's lightweight. It's pretty lightweight. I'll try it on. I'm not far from a mirror. This one here is the same setup. I'm curious to see what the interior looks like though. I'm still not sure what I feel about this bag. I most likely won't ever own one. I'm not super impressed with it, though it is very pretty and very nice. The interior is really nice. I think this is probably the one I would own, but it's too light and it's fabric, so I won't. This, if this is the only one I would ever own <laughs> and I don't plan on buying it, then yeah, I'm not going to own one but it's super nice. Let me take a picture. Let me try to get this in the shot. They are pretty. And then this tiny one. Here, I'm gonna grab the tiny one and try that on since this is already easily, there's no pocket on the small. That's super cute. Let's go try it on. Let me grab my purse here. Pill totes. Set this aside. It's cute. It's super lightweight. It doesn't really feel like I'm wearing much of anything. I mean, the bag. <laughs> Let me do over. Crossbody. So long shoulder is nice. Crossbody is nice. Easy to, easy to open, easy to close. This is nice, guys. See how lightweight it is? When it's loaded up, you can find, you can, when it's loaded up, it won't fly out like that. However, that's a lightweight bag. When it does this, when you're wearing it, that's cute. That's really cute. I would wear this with my dreamer chain because this kind of, it's kind of a, a big strap to be wearing on a, tiny bag but it's super cute now let me grab the big one just carefully this is nice too yeah this is kind of bulky for me but it's super lightweight I can see how people would really like this Nice pop of color with this black and denim outfit I'm wearing. I love these joggers, by the way. If I could find them in every color, I would, but I can't. I like how it fans out. It's very much like the Riley. Very cute. Let's look at it crossbody. Very cute. Now let's see if the handle gets in the way. Yep, handle gets right in the way. You can still open it up and easily get stuff out, but this is like poking me and I don't like how that feels. It's not a problem. I don't really like how it feels on me. So.
wanted to get a close-up of that material. I don't know why I can't think of that material. Where's the price tag? Let me find a price tag so I can give you guys the price for this. 350. This is truffle petunia. So I wonder if this is just truffle. Because I know the pink is petunia. Alright, let's go look at the new willows because they are super cute. Giant fill totes, backpacks, a lot of backpacks, sweatshirts. All these bags are cute. We've got the cash in, tiny cash in over there. Pillow Tabby Studio. That's redder than it appeared online. We'll look at Willow in a little while. Oh, look, Studio. We'll look at the Willow in a little while. And I wanted to check this out. Because I've had some people, I've seen people complain about the color. It's like a washed out red. It looks pretty red. Uh, nope, still looks washed out on my camera. Look how much it's washed. Look, look at this compared to uh, this color. They both look washed out. This is a nice bold red. So my camera's kind of washing both out. But this is apple, I believe. Red apple, candy apple, something like that. And I think this is the same color. But it's, it's not as red as it appears online. But it's still, it's red. Oh, the pillow tabby is so soft. It's like, it is like a pillow. Very pretty. Let me try on the pillow. I don't know if I've ever tried on the pillow for you guys. The regular size. Those are cute. do this with my own purse. I'm used to wearing a crossbody, but I brought my gorgeous bag today. Yeah, it's definitely red, but it's not the boldest of reds. It's really pretty, though. It's a shoulder. Hold on. Yeah, this is not a shoulder. This is not a shoulder bag. Here it is. This is stunning. I like it. I like it like this. Oh my goodness, it's so soft on the bottom. Anyway, this is so cute. This is super cute. Easy to get into and out of. It has two sections, by the way. I've never tried it on. And I don't think. I like the color. This is a it is kind of washed, but it's not as pink as it looks on camera okay so the pillow feels very comfortable I like I really like it worn crossbody with this strap left on it's super cute all right guys I don't have enough time to look at every single thing and every price and I'm sorry but it's a nice size bag okay petunia truffle is very cute so it's papaya we still got a, um, shoot, what is it called? I'm still calling it Harmony. It's not the Harmony. That's such a classy looking bag. All right, now let's head over to the uh, Willow. That's super cute, by the way. Here are the new Willows all of the willows the new one i believe this is new isn't it i need to go over there actually super cute it's super cute look at the headbands this one up here is super pretty it's blue so cute is that burnished amber i think it is this color oh my goodness this one here this is ice purple croc embossed super lightweight and then this here this is the willow 24 i believe it's called this is dove i love it dove multi i love it this possibly 
what I would get if I got one. I really like the signature divider here. Okay, I believe Ice Purple, the Crack Boss, I think it's $3.50 or $3.95, but these are $2.95. Oh, not right there, right here. I like the chalk also, chalk. Dove gray, multi. Yes, it's Willow 24. It's very pretty. And you know that the Willow has the, the uh, turn lock in the front, the C turn lock in the front, and then just a snap back here. It's so lightweight. Oh, those feet. Yep. Really nice feet on the bottom. Very pretty. Oh, I love this one. Love that dub and this too. This is even lighter. And then what does the crossbody strap look like? So the interior is plain back here. This interior, by the way, is just a smooth leather. It's hard to see. And then, so no pockets or anything on the back. No pockets on this side either, but there's the, the story patch and a zipper pocket here. This one was a little trickier to put back. There we go. So pretty. That's so cute. Here it is compared to the larger willow. The top handle for this one with a crossbody strap, and this one is a shoulder bag it has shoulder long shoulder straps longer shoulder straps this one also has that coated canvas signature divider this would be one of the prettiest work bags in my opinion especially in this gorgeous color the dark gray also I thought it could combine with the brass and whatever this I think this is an oxblood if they're still calling it oxblood gorgeous I think that's the bucket. So pretty. They're so pretty. Mm -hmm. Now let's go see the bag that coach named after me, the Alana bag. Here are older bags, Tabby, Soft Tabby Hobo, Soft Tabby Shoulder. Um, I forgot the name of that bag. I always forget the name of that one. Oh, before I get to the bag coach named after me, haha, <laughs> look at this, guys. Look at this. I believe this is new. This is a $95 just basic black pebble leather strap with, look at this, golden rod stitching. Here's the back. This would match so many 1941 items. $95, just leather, plain. I don't know why it took them like four, five, or six years after they did the uh, 2015, 16. Six years after they created the um, the Rogue. <laughs> took them six years to finally do a plain black strap. Are they kidding? We've had this for a long time. They've had the smooth black with the rivets. I don't recall them doing a plain black strap. By the way, if you customize, these are the options. T-Rogues. Pins. Other pins. They used to have more options, but I don't know if they're still available. I don't think so. Anyway, here is the Amana Hobo. Nice bold red. This is black. And then they have a chalk, I think. Chalk multi or ivory or something, and then coat of canvas. Let's see what it looks like. Walking to the mirror. I want you to see how I put it on. Easily. It's very lightweight, very lightweight. It's very comfortable. Let's check it out. Actually, let me check it out over there so we can see the other colors too. And back over here, I forgot the price, but it's really nice. This red is pretty. 
One cool thing about it is that you can re fully adjust, not fully adjust, but you have three settings of the strap. You can also fully remove the strap, that's what I meant. So you can wear about an inch, actually about an, a little over an inch in length, so. I mean, the rivets are about a little over an inch apart. So you can kind of get a good idea. I mean, a good, relatively good um, adjustable strap there. Look at this. This is the old feet. Look how big these things are. So nice. This one is very soft. Let me get inside. Straps are already softened. There's a zipper closure, and it's gonna slouch a little because it's a hobo, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think, I don't know if they're calling it a hobo or a shoulder bag. One second. Okay, so I removed the stuffing, I opened it up. This is the interior. It's just a fabric pocket, and it's leather on the interior. The fabric, the pocket's fabric. It is like not an attached, not an attached pocket, but it's nice. Here is the... Tote. It's a tote. That wasn't what I was thinking at all. <laughs> this is a slouchy tote. See how slouched it is? It's really pretty. So that's it, guys. That's the Okada tote. That's what they named after me. I'm just kidding. I have to put this big pillow back in. One second. So there again, it's the Ilana tote. It's even spelled like my name. We've got the studio over here. Here's what's funny. So the studio bag came out right, and I, I did um, reveal in Macy's, I think. I mean, I showed it in Macy's, a Macy's video. Wasn't really impressed at all because I didn't know why in the world they had attached the strap. Why are they doing that now? I don't understand. <laughs> in the day where you can have a detachable strap with a clip, I don't understand. But then, oh, and also I didn't like the uh, microfiber interior also was kind of stiff then they came out with the fabric ones super cute fabric the croc all these all these i prefer better than the original this one though quilted check it out they changed it look what they did i guess they thought better of attached the attached strap so yeah they changed a bit this one is super soft and it's completely leather i believe it's some kind of lamb leather all the way through Similar to the tabbies. Here are the tabbies, by the way, the pillow tabbies, not the regular tabbies. Super cute. And there is one smaller studio bag, and I wanted to see, I wanted to see it, but they don't have it. It's only in an online exclusive. However, a woman walked in here wearing it, so I was lucky and got to see it in person. At first I was considering grabbing one of these, but I think I want that smaller studio. It's so nice. This is such a luxurious filling bag. And I will show you this one, the one that I was actually looking at. I was considering this one, but then the lady walked in wearing the smaller version. I think it's the 19, the Studio 19, and it's the one with the leather chain link strap. But I really like this. It's so much more luxurious. Um, it just looks and feels better than the original Studio. And of course, because I love that they, um, I mean, this is way better in my opinion. One of the reasons is because they did a completely different strap setup. Key, super cute key in there, and it does work if I'm not mistaken. It's not too hard, not too difficult to get into the bag. Oh, it took me forever. It doesn't really take that long, guys. Interior, leather interior. The interior is all leather, guys. I love it. We have a slip pocket. We have the regular, the big um, compartment with the slip, little slip pocket. And then kind of a slip pocket again up here, which is very nice. Clasp is really nice. There's the bottom, nothing on the bottom. Very pretty bag, it's a gorgeous bag. And I was considering it until I saw the small one. But yeah, the original, it's just, it's not as great. In my opinion, it's nice, I'm sure, but it's so hard, it's so hard. This is very soft. This is the reason why I came into the uh, store though. So we're done with the studio. Sorry, if that was too, oh, hold on. No, we're not done. Let me get the, um, 
price tag and show you all. One second. Okay, so the black one didn't have one in it, but I grabbed Chalk's price tag. Brief. The price is, this is called the Quilted Studio Shoulder Bag, and the price is $4.95. $4.95. Chalk is gorgeous also, but I don't do chalk bags. Anyway, so that's the studio bag. Now we are on to the brand new color block, Burnished Amber Standard Rogue. Standard Rogue is the regular size. And I've got my 25 here, coincidentally. Beautiful bag. This, oh my God, it's so pretty. I have a couple of friends who have this. It is stunning. The color block is perfectly done. I hate that there's no cloche yet, but whatever. Also, something else I really dislike that they did away with, and I'll show you that. But here is the bag. It actually comes soft. It's pretty soft already. Feet, strips, very nice. Here is the um, comparison between the two bags. Let me try this one on for you. Look how great this color works. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. Let me get the shoulder straps. And then I'll show you the interior after. By the way, the, the handles do what they do on the other, the smaller new rogues. They flip all the way down. Let me grab it for you. See that? Flip all the way down. Or into the bag. Let me flip this one into the bag. There we go. Comfortable. Here we go. It's really pretty. All right, so here's the interior. Very nice. So it looks just like the um, 25s now. See how my 25? The Basquiat robes, if you don't remember, were the first robes that they did with these handles and this interior. So you see that set up? Exact same setup with the uh, the large one now. Exact same setup. Zippers are really nice on this. Now, you remember the old 31s? 30, size 30, 31, whatever you call it. I call it 31 because it's literally exactly 31 centimeters. I've measured. <laughs> Look at this. This is the same as the interior of the other bag. Now, the other... The original Rogues did have a slip pocket. Did they? They had a zip pocket. And on the other side, they had the kiss lock. There's nothing. They removed the freaking kiss lock. Which, in my opinion, sucks. But, you know, they probably tried to keep it, uh, keep the weight down. Man, it's gorgeous. Look at, the, look at it with these, um, with the handles. It's so pretty. Stunning. I'm gonna get a picture. I want to show you all of this together. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. It's stunning, isn't it? So yeah, I'm upset about the um, kiss lock disappearing. I didn't. I didn't know they were gonna do that. I should have known had I thought about it. But we didn't even know if they're gonna make a size 31 or standard size. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's just gorgeous. So I love this one. Man, it's so pretty, guys. You have to see it in person. It's even prettier in person. I love this one. And here are the other bags. We've got Phil Tote, the um, Beat with the patches. Phil Tote with patches, the really large one. Oh, and here's this new. I think this is new size 31 again looks just like the smaller one that they've already had for a while but anyway that's those are the bags I came to see she 
shoes on sale, probably online also. Oh, they always have something on sale online. Oh, let me show you guys this. Ready to wear. I have two of these. I have one in black and one in midnight navy. Love the mess out of this. This is brown, by the way. I love the mess out of this bag. Oh, uh, wow. And this jacket. So comfortable and very soft. What are these? These are cute. This is perfect, like Disneyland or or um, travel. Nah, I want something bigger than that when I'm traveling. Maybe this size. I still love that backpack. Still love the hitch crossbody. Still on my radar. That's that cute little green crossbody over there on the other, the right side of this yellow. These yellow bags, right over there. I love those. Just kind of trying to give you guys a good idea of what's still in here. Oh, the flocking. They still have a flocking piece down there on the right, bottom right. Look at this blue. Look at the blue chain. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. Lots of blue. Blue thin, I believe, is what uh, the new blue is, I think. I think that's the same color I think it is. Anyway, y'all, that's it. Here are the men's belts. That's it. I thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite piece was. But I, I mainly focus on the new stuff because we've already seen a lot of the older bags. So I focus on the new stuff generally when I come into the store. Beautiful bags. I cannot get over how pretty that bag is. Good grief. Alright, y'all take care of yourselves. 